Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've created this look for you which is all focused around the brown liquid lipstick which is the Colourpop Ultramatte Lip in the shade Limbo. Um, ever since I got this shade I have been loving it and you might have seen my blog post about it which I will link below if you haven't but if you'd like to see how I created this look please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. So to get started I've already applied my foundation and my eyebrows and for that I use the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation in SB10 and the Zoeva Silk Finish Brush in, in, it's just number 102. Uh, these are a great combo and have really good coverage. I'm having a really bad skin at the moment, um, that's why I kind of started this look with my foundation on. Um, but yeah, if you're having any problems or blemishes or redness, this foundation covers really well, so I would recommend that. And for my brows, I use the Bobbi Brown Brow Powder in the shade Mahogany. Let's get started. Today the purpose of this tutorial is really just to use um, my new product which is the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Limbo. Um, it's one of the products that I've been kind of classified as a dupe for the Kali uh, Jenna Lip Kit True Brown K. So I'm really excited to use this so I wanted to create a bit more of a glam look for you today and that's what I'm going to be trying to so, do. As always I'm just going to apply uh, my Lay and Low Paint Pot from MAC and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelid. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to go in with my translucent powder and just set that cream base with this really big brush which is basically the size of my eyelid but just because I want to make sure it's set really well otherwise the colours don't blend out. I know I look a little crazy now but I've got both tapes, uh, both tapes, both bits of tape secured so that they're even on like the top bit of my eye and now I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit and get started. So taking Saddle from MAC, I'm blending this into my crease. It's a really nice warm um, matte orangey brown shade and I've been using this quite a lot at the moment um, but I'm just making sure that it's blended out up to my eyebrow really seamlessly and there's no sharp lines and then I'm going in and doing that on the other eye. Once I've done that, I'm going to take the shade Butterfudge from MAC as well. They're both in my MAC Warm Neutrals palette and I'm just applying this shade uh, to my mobile lid and then taking my blending brush again and just warming up the outer corner of my eyes again. And I want to create slightly um, a halo effect, which is why I'm adding a tiny bit into the centre of my eye as well. Then taking the Makeup Revolution pigment in the shade Cautious, I'm just applying this to the centre of my eyelid. And I used a tiny bit of my MAC Fix Plus on the brush, just so that the pigment um, went on very well. And I'm then going to take my blending brush again once I've packed this on just so it's all blended out seamlessly and looks really effortless and then basically just keep blending until you're happy with it I then went in with my eyeliner which was the collection lasting finish one and I just took my time to build this up normally I use two hands for my eyeliner so it was a little tricky to do it one-handed so I am quite slow here but I just built it up really carefully until I was happy with how it looked I'm just gonna peel Tape away, and as you can see, we're left with quite a strong liner, which is what we want. I then went in and took my Bobbi Brown uh, pencil liner and just tight lined my waterline just so that my lashes looked a lot fuller and that the black line was really sharp. As always, I'm going to take my Max Light Cover Up Concealer in the shade NC30 and just apply this everywhere practically. So I went in and applied this under my eyes, down my nose, creating that triangle shape under my eyes to really brighten and lift my face. I then took it around my nose and my mouth where I have a slight bit of redness and darkness. So I really wanted to lift that um, as it just makes you look more awake and refreshed. I then went in with saddle just under my eyes once I'd done my concealer just to balance out the look and create a bit more depth. So I forgot my mascara so I just had to get up so sorry if I'm sat a little differently to I was before but I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara Now that I've applied a coat of mascara I'm going to go in with my Isla um, by Fleur de Force lashes and these are the half size lashes and they are so easy to apply especially if you're not very good at lashes or just want some quick ones that you can wear every day they are perfect so i'm just going to go in and put these on for you okay so while we let those dry i'm going to go in with my filmstar bronze and glow palette as always 
And I'm just gonna bronze up my face a tiny bit. So I'm going in first of all with my cheekbones. I'm then gonna work this bronzer around my temples and my jawline. This is gonna give me a slightly contoured look, but also really balance out my face and add bronzer to any places that the sun would naturally hit me. And you just wanna make sure it's as even as possible, so keep blending it out. I just realized I started contouring my face before I'd even powdered my concealer, which for me is a huge no-no. So I'm just gonna go back in quickly and powder under my eyes. I'm just gonna go back in with bronzer and carry on just warming up my face. I also like taking whatever's left on my brush, not to contour my nose, but to kind of just create where your natural, like the sun would naturally hit you. Then going in with Ecstasy by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just gonna apply that to both of my cheeks on top of where I contoured. just to bring a little bit of colour back into my face. I actually put quite a lot on in real life but the camera's not picking up so we'll just go with it. Then taking the Morphe N310 fan brush, I'm gonna use this with the Laura Geller uh, Gilded Honey Highlight which I have been loving ever since my last video that I did. If you saw it, uh, make sure you go check it out. Apply this to the tops of my cheekbones. Can you see? I'm just going to apply that to my nose, to my chin, and to my cupid's bow, and more to my cheeks because I love it. Okay, I'm now just going to apply a tiny bit more mascara to my lashes to kind of bind my false ones and my real ones together, as well as doing it on my bottom lash line a little bit as well. Before I go in with my lips, I'm just going to apply some Fix Plus all over my skin just to kind of bind all those powders together because I've used a lot of powder and this will help it look a lot more natural on my skin and less cakey. Glow, glow, glow. And then what I like to do once I've done that is take a clean-ish, this is the Real Techniques, some kind of powder brush. And because it's clean, I'm just going to dab it all over my skin and kind of blend everything together even more. This is a new step that I've been doing, but I, like, I kind of like it. Now for the moment of truth. The reason you're probably all here to watch this video, I know it's why I'm here. And it's for the Colourpop Liquid Lipstick in Limbo. I don't actually have a liner to match this kind of shade, so I'm just going to go in and hope for the best and tidy up with concealer where I go wrong. Uh, but if you do have a lip liner that's a brownie colour like this, I would highly recommend using it. Nearly there. And I am just going to let that dry and then I'll tidy it up in a second. But I am totally loving that colour. It's kind of like a really alternative look on a vampy kind of. And that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video and love this lip colour as much as I do. Please subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below if you liked the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye!